what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're here at the 2022 edition of the Chicago Auto Show. Of course, walking around, we had to stop at the Nissan booth because they're bringing lots of excitement, not only with the Z, but with this vehicle here. This is it. This is their all new 2023 Nissan Aria. But before we get into this electrified vehicle from Nissan, let's talk about what's going on here. Nissan that iconic Japanese brand is going, like we said, going through a renaissance period now, bringing new models to market, total redesigns, and you know what? They are no stranger to the EV. If you remember, Nissan brought us the Leaf, that electrified hatchback of basically their Versa platform, but now they're going in a direction to really go up against the other brands, not only Tesla, everybody keeps talking about Tesla, but many other brands like Hyundai with the Ionic 5, and of course, what we drove not too long ago, that Kia EV6. Now, with this Aria, of course, you're gonna get some very unique style that's specific to Nissan, but also that great versatility and usability. At the end of the day, you could option this many different ways and not only have single electric motor platform, but also dual motor platform. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this 2023 Aria. And remember, this is a pre-production, so some of the things may be different from when they show up at the dealership, but we're gonna dive in and find out how it stacks up against the EV6. Let's find out with our Aria. Right off the bat, the styling. Like we brought to you when we were at the headquarters for Nissan in Tennessee, very unique style that I think is gonna be unmistakable. So you're gonna get full LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, and turn singles. Really think they did a great job with keeping everything sleek and of course, very modern. Another thing I'm really digging is how they took the LED running lamps and really brought that V-Motion grill. Even though this is an EV, there's no need for an actual grill, you're gonna get that overall design philosophy because depending on what vehicle you're looking at, that is something that carries over. Now on the lower side of things, you do have this really sharp triangular opening, a little bit of gloss black, but the great news is this is a functional side air curtain and then another thing which looks really wild underneath the show lights is you're getting some nice fender flare. This makes the vehicle look a little bit more muscular without going too over the top. You know, some of these EVs, they look like marshmallows going down the road. This one has that extra style that I think is really gonna draw people to the brand. Now, as we come across the front, the designers had to figure out a way, like I said, to do something grill-like, but make it in a way to where it's stylish because there is no function really but you got the updated nissan badge tons of led lighting that makes it pop right off the front of the vehicle the gloss black and then like i said do you see how they did this 3d textured style design really shows that v motion shape and you go look at a rogue you go look at a titan you're always going to see that overall design now on the lower side of things you do have this functional air intake because this is a liquid cooled lithium ion battery pack the gloss black, just enough to make it pop. And with this particular cover, color really stands out. Now, when we get up onto the hood, like I was saying, standard, this is gonna be a front wheel drive, but you can option it with the E-Force power to give you dual motors. Love the way it just kind of rises up, the peaks, everything flows into the A-Post. It's almost like the Murano met electrification. It has a lot of that overall feel. Now, when we come around the bend, what are we looking at underneath these flared fenders? You're looking at these awesome, massive wheels. So 20 inch wheel, love the style. Even the way they took the cover to cover up your lug nuts. Because remember, for an EV to get that maximum range, it's not just about battery, it's not just about the motors, but also how you cut through the air like a hot knife through butter. And by having that, you're gonna be able to generate that airflow very, very effectively. And really with that flared fender just looks spot on the money. Now, as we go down the side, you are gonna get the gloss black on the mirror caps to tie it all in with what's at the front, with what's on the fenders. We have some nice satin steel finish all the way down. And this is actually tying in, believe it or not, with the Nissan Z. The new 2023 Z has that bright, shiny silver up top. They went gloss black around the openings on the bottom, color matched on your door handles, and then that little side sill extension. Not only looks good, but it's there for that aerodynamic efficiency working our way, sliding our way, the air towards the rear, nice sexy roof line. You can see where that silver comes in to give us that almost floating roof design. There's our katana blade, almost like a samurai sword coming around towards the rear, 
very, very unique on the low roof spoiler. You do have a unique twin shark fin antenna set up there. Very curious what is the purpose between the two of them up there, but we will find out on the media drive and then the way the air just coasts right off the glass. Nice hard edge. I'm really thinking this hard edge gives the rear hatch that extra style that's very important. And then the LED lighting, Nissan badge in the center. I am gonna zonk though this wiper. And that's something that when you compare this to the EV6, very unique style between the two. It's gonna be interesting to put these up side by side on the road, but very clever with the Aria badge. The way they did the actual font and the lettering gives it that contemporary look. And then working our way all the way down, you're gonna have this simulated rear diffuser with the gloss black, nice edge to it. But you know what? Let's go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this Aria. All right, guys, we got the hood popped on this 2023 Nissan Aria. Underneath the hood, unlike some other EVs out there, there's not any storage space, but you do get to clearly see what is powering our Aria. So what do we have? You're gonna, of course, like we mentioned, have three different, have your different options of trim. Venture, Evolve, Premier, and Platinum. If you go with Venture, you're gonna get a single electric motor. It's gonna be front wheel drive, 238 horsepower, 221 pound feet of torque. The great news is that's gonna get you that really maximum range of estimated around 300 mile range capacity. Now, when you go with the E-Force dual motor setup, that's gonna give you all wheel drive to the ground. That's gonna give you 389 horsepower, 442 pound feet of torque. It is made it to a direct drive transmission and you're looking at an estimated 265 miles of range with the dual motor setup. Now, obviously with the dual motor setup, you'll have one motor up front like you see here, one motor out back to give you that all wheel drive. Of course, we are looking forward to the on throttle excitement from driving this Aria, but why don't we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see what big things are in store from Nissan with this EV. Hi guys, we're inside this 2023 Nissan Aria. Now, obviously it all depends. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been looking at EVs. I never knew that Nissan actually had the Leaf. I forgot all about that vehicle, but I'm looking at that Kia EV6. I'm looking at the Hyundai Ioniq 5. I don't want a Tesla. Everybody has a Tesla. I want something different, but I'm really curious about this Aria. How much is it? So starting price is gonna be estimated around $45,000 fully loaded E-Force with the twin motor setup, you're looking around $58,000. But let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Love the clean style. You got the nice stitch work, no gloss black near the top portion, just a little bit of gloss black around the switch gear. And I'm liking the design underneath that door handle there. Really gives it a unique appeal that's gonna be different from the EV6. Now door pocket is a good size could probably put, I would say, a Chicago-style pretzel in there and a bottle of root beer to wash it down. Going from the door panel to the dash, look at all the room that we have. The dash is very far forward, soft touch material, the silver trim, and then you'll notice they almost did like a circuit board style design on the back portion within that trim. The light wood finish, really tasteful without looking like fuddy-duddy. And this is not silver, this actually has a bronze look to it. I know it's hard to see with the light, but very nice finishes. Now, infotainment side of things, you're going to get not only one, but two 12.3 inch screens. You're going to have obviously navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all the features. We're going to show more of this when we do the media drive in a very, very short couple weeks. So stay tuned for that. But everything is well within reach. And I like the way it's connected with the dash. You got your volume knob, an actual volume knob and control knob in the center. And then the way they did the buttons to activate things like the AC and whatnot, easy to get to, and it's really super clean. You got your power on button, and then you'll notice we have a flat bottom floor because the battery is located in the bottom of the vehicle, flat bottom floor. Look at the way they did the interior ambient lighting. Nice lighting at night that's gonna illuminate everywhere. Tons of room. You got a USB-A, a U excuse me, USB-C, USB-A, and a 12 volt. Plus you got room here for half of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Go extra crunchy on the Skippy uh, peanut butter. Love that peanut butter or Peter Pan, whatever you choose. You have this floating style center console. See the bronze finish? Open this up, two cup holders, close it up. This is gonna be your electric shifter for that direct drive transmission. And then 
Other features, wireless charging, nice soft material here. Open that up, there's your wireless charger. You get enough space for some Jolly Ranchers, watermelon, maybe some uh, sour apple, and then the material. Look at the way they did the seats. Very sporty seating, the nice soft leather style material with the Alcantara all the way down. You have electric assist for the passenger, electric assist for the driver, and a panoramic sunroof. So you're getting those features that you want in your EV, and it's interesting how this compares to the EV6. But why don't you get your butt over here? I want to show you behind a flat bottom steering wheel in this Aria. Right, guys, business time behind the wheel of this Aria. Now remember, I'm six feet tall. I got some pretty good headroom in here, even with the panoramic sunroof. And obviously, when we do the media drive, I'll be able to really fine tune the seat for my body. But you got your seat controls that are easy to get to, plus you have two memory seat settings, so you can let somebody borrow your Aria, and if they screw up all the settings, you could go back to yours. Seat material feels good. I like the lower portion, how far it goes underneath my hamstrings, which that's important for those longer drives. And then the steering wheel. They did one hell of a job flat bottom. I like the way they did this nice bright silver brand, uh, band around the bottom and then the gold stitching, that bronze gold style stitching, the updated Nissan badge. This is a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then you're going to get a 12.3 inch digital dash, all the readouts. Obviously, we can't drive it. I can't even turn it on technically, but we will bring more to you. But why don't we go ahead? It's not just about the front seat passengers. Let's check out the rear seat and see how your passenger is going to feel in this EV. All right, guys, back seat time in this compact style SUV. And same thing in the back. I'm getting good room for the passenger rear volume. Backs of the seats have this pretty cool, almost like a neoprene style material, nice size pocket to store a back scratcher, an abacus, maybe a Game Boy. We got a USB-C and a USB-A, and you have those rear AC vents with this nice gray wood. You'll notice the flat bottom floor all the way across. Nobody's gonna be uncomfortable, even if you're sitting in the center. And speaking of the center, if nobody's sitting there, you got a nice Charmin soft armrest where you could put your two drinks there, flip it back, but you know what? Let's see what the cargo space brings to the table in this Aria. All right, guys, time to get in the cargo area. Real simple, you're just gonna hit the button. Nice electric assist, comes up very quickly, and you are gonna be greeted by a ton of cargo room here, and I'm gonna show you some fun features with it. Now, on each side, you do have these notches where you could easily put a couple boxes of Twinkies, but watch this. With the cargo floor, first of all, it stands up, which is nice, so you can get whatever you need, or you could take it out and you could lower the floor. So you could raise and lower the floor depending on whatever your needs are. So that way you could get the pasta sauce, you could get the Pringles, you could get everything that you need. This part lifts up here and you could easily put it down. Like I said, any way you want to configure this is up to you. But you know what? I know you're dying to see a drive of this vehicle and I am looking forward to bringing it to you. Stay tuned in a few weeks. But we are at the auto show, so if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's wrap it up from the Chicago Auto All right, Show. All right, guys. It's been one heck of a day here at the Chicago Auto Show. Definitely want to thank the whole Nissan team for getting us some nice private time with this Aria. Let me know what you think. Have they done enough to make this the better EV to get over the Kiva, Kia EV6? Kiva. I'm creating new names as we speak. But let me know what you think in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you in the channel, click that link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to the queen of the camera out here busting her butt on the showroom floor. Show Lori some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. Just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.